Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are starting a new campaign here in Crusader Kings 2. Now, this is directly after the Rajas of India expansion, so we probably should be playing as India, but we're not. We took a bunch of straw polls to find out which region to play, uh, and then which nation to play, and we wound up playing as the Count of Puskov, which is... Uh, just this tiny little area right here. He is a vassal of Homegarder, which is a Norseman, crazy Norse. Uh, but we are Russian, we are Slavic, and we have our own special flag, the Putin dynasty. We're gonna get in there as Vladimir Putin. Let's do this shit. It's too bad we can't turn on achievements because we have a modified character that we made. Oh well. Putin doesn't need achievements, he only needs Crimea as a pet bear. Oh goodness. Oh, Twitch chat. All right. Some idiot arrived at our court. That's nice. Okay. So we are 24-year-old Chief Vladimir of Pskov. We are wounded. We are wounded, brave, deceitful, ambitious, slothful, gluttonous, cruel, cynical, patient, lustful, dwarf, genius, charismatic negotiator. That's what we are. That is what we are. And we are a vassal of this guy, King Rurik of Homegarder. He's Norse. He's Norse. Uh, he's probably going to spread some Norse religion. Or not. I don't know. Now, our province is Sua Minusco of the Estonian culture. Whereas we are Slavic and Russian. So we have some, some work to do if we want to convert this province. Do we have a court? We have no court. Holy shit. Okay. Um... Uh, I think it's more important to make this guy my chancellor. So let's get him as a chancellor. Bingo. And Marshall. Oh yeah, we have a good steward. So Marshall it is. Steward it is. Uh, yeah. Some random courtier. You got it. She hates my guts though. Why do you hate my guts? Short reign, negative 36. Attraction to dwarf, negative 30. Liege is cruel, negative 10. Attraction to gluttonous, negative 15. Liege is slothful, negative 10. Wow. She hates us. Perfect. Let's try not to get stabbed. And, uh, sure. Religious guy. Now go convert this province. So what are the chances of you succeeding? 0.75% chance per year. Not even 1% chance per year. Wow. Uh, so let's start off. Well, let's see. Who owns shit around us? I think this guy starts and he owns everything. No. No, he doesn't. All right. Where's all the uh, individual vassals? Okay. So I have a neighbor. We could go beat him up. All these little guys are individual Russian vassals. One province vassals of Homegarder. Ah, we should go get Ingria. I kind of want Ingria. Let's go get Ingria. Hey, you. I'm going to fabricate claims on you. You dick. You're a dick. Oh, yeah, he's Estonian, too, so screw him. And we have no wife. Oh, my God, we need a wife. Give me a wife. We need El Waifaruni. Yes. There. Now let's see if we can find ourselves a wife. Anyone out there that's interesting? Anyone with uh, good diplomacy, maybe? She would be nice. She's got good uh, stewardship, too. Yeah, I kind of want her. There you go. Done. Okay. Take concubine. Ooh. Ah, I can take this person as my concubine. Interesting. But she's also my spy master. Eh, she probably goes kill my wife or something. You know what? I don't care. We're sleeping with a spy master, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. We can't give her any honorary titles? No. All right. Well, whatever. I'm just getting started, man. All right. Let's get our steward to collect taxes in the capital. And you guys can train troops in the capital. And you can scheme 
in the capital. All right, now what's this? Ruler unmarried, we're working on it. Title loss on succession. That's right, because we don't have any babies yet. And there's no heir. Yep, same thing. Okay, so since we're Slavic, we have to worry about the Slavic important provinces, which are Osel, Homegarder, Kakis Salem, Riazan, and where's the fifth one? Oh, way over there. Holy shit. Really? No way. Those must be Suomenusko. Where's the Slavic ones? Okay, there's the Slavic ones. Yeah, those were the Suomenusko ones. Here we go. Homegarder. Uh, Konugarder. Konugarder. Plok. Rana. And down here. Okay, there we go. There's the Slavic ones. Okay, so we have uh, we have some goals for the religious stuff, uh, and obviously our own personal ambitions are to someday take over this duchy here, the duchy of Homegarder, or the duchy of Estonia, whatever, whatever comes first, baby. Ah, let's go. Let's unpause. Put it on, like, speed three. Ah, beautiful. Back in CK2. Man, I haven't played this in, like, half a year. Chief Vladimir, we got married. Okay, yes. You accept that we get married. Gold or prestige? Give me that prestige. Thank you. Next ambition. Let's have babies. Give me a son. Have a son. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, it begins. It begins again. It begins again. What the hell is this? Are we at war? We are at war. Subjugation of Rus. So he's at war with Chief Karhu of Veps. Where the hell is Veps? Oh, up there. Okay. So our liege has decided to declare war, like on day one. He's a crazy man, our liege. Oh, this idiot wants to be our marshal. Well, you are a little better, and you like me, so you got it. You got it, baby. Nice. What? Fired from council? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a stupid little game mechanic. <laughs> the pop-up came, and instead of accepting it through the pop-up, I, I just changed it manually. And then I accepted the pop-up, and it counted as firing him and then rehiring him. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Are you sure I can't give you something? Honorary title? No? Nothing? Alright, wife. What's up? Oh, look at that. She doesn't care that we're a dwarf. She doesn't give a crap that we're a dwarf. She, she likes us just fine. Good. <gasps> and she's pregnant. Holy shit, we just started. She just arrived in the court and we got her preggers from already. Wow, nice. Well, good news is we know that our penis works, right? It's very important knowing that your penis works. And we know. Ah, the joyous life in Pskov. With the... Uh, Papus. There's a lake next to us called Papus. Okay. <gasps> oh no! We are ill! An old wound is aggravating and painful. Can we not die, like, right at the beginning here, please? Come on, we're 24. A wound shouldn't really bother us that much. Come on. Come on! It's fine! Okay, we're scarred. We're not wounded anymore. Good. Beautiful. Where's that scar? There it is. Yes, plus 0.1 monthly prestige. I love that. Did you see that ugly guy scar? God, he's ugly. <laughs> and we're not ill anymore. Good. So come on, woman. Pop out them babies. The Putin dynasty. It has just begun. House Putin. Total members, one. Living members, one. Prestige, five. <laughs> it begins. Oh, goodness. But yeah, we need to go conquer this guy. I hope it's not too expensive. It says we have a 15% chance per year to get a claim, so... I'd like to do it before he gets too many allies. How much army can you produce? Curious. 
There he is. 280 soldiers, whereas I can do 250. Ugh. So I can't even beat him. Damn it. Well, what mercs are out there? What's the cheapest mercs? Uh, 140 bucks for some cheap mercs. That's still too expensive. Hmm. <gasps> A little girl! Theo... Theodosia. It's hard to read here. It's easy to read up there. Theodosia. Alright, I'm okay with that. Theodosia. She's a dwarf. Just like daddy! <laughs> yeah, we have no CBs on these guys. What about these guys? Ah, okay. So we have CBs on our neighbors. But we don't have CBs on these counts right next to us. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, so we could go for subjugation of Lithuania right now. Pagans are allowed to subjugate other pagan rulers once in their lifetime. With the Become King ambition, there is no such time limit against targets in the kingdom. Free men are always willing to follow the mightiest ruler. Go south into the Krivians. How many troops can he bring? Uh, 908. That's more than me. What about these guys? 550. That's still more than me. What about these guys? He has no allies. 722. Yeah, it's just a lot of troops. That's a lot of guys to deal with. speed all the way up. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, we're ill again. Wow, we've been ill twice already. Jesus. Oh, we're not ill. Good. So he has the ambition to become king, because he keeps using the same... Yeah, become king of Rus. So he's using that CB to just invade everyone. Good for him. So how do we... So how do we uh, how do we start out here? How do we get stronger here? We need uh, we need a plan, a game plan. Ah, a tie those six gold. Thank you. You're the best. Save up money for mercs and then crush our neighbors. Yeah, we can do that. Just gotta make sure that they don't have enough money for mercs. Like, this guy has money for mercs. This guy does not. This guy sort of does. But yeah, we definitely want to be able to afford. Should we go for the uh, ambition to... Uh, be a king, because that'll allow us to attack as many times as we want. That might be useful. Get people in our court with claims on stuff? Hmm. Like what? I don't know the pagan religion bonuses. Levy size, garrison size, morale, garrison size, light infantry defense, heavy infantry defense. The chief of Twer has founded the independence faction. So this guy, this count, he wants independence. He has two counties, Viasma and Twer. 
He wants independence. And he's the only guy in the faction. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh, huh? Flatter and soothe. Always flatter and soothe. That's why we have high diplomacy. Oh, wife is preggers. Nice. Come on, give me a little baby boy. Magyar nomads no more. Alright, so they have migrated to Hungary. Good for you, Magyar. Good for you. God damn, he is wasting no time invading all of his neighbors. Look at this guy. He's a madman. He is a madman. Another girl. Oh my god. And she's a sickly child. I don't need another girl. Give me them boys. I need them boys. He's allied to Vitebsk and Orsha. But those are his vassals. Yeah, those are his vassals. That's weird. And he just got another ally, Lipiel. Huh, those are his vassals. Interesting. The third subjugation of Rus. Man, he is wasting no time. He's at 100%. That war's over. Yup. God, he is just annexing huge swaths of land. Look at this guy. He's amazing. And he's at war again. He's like, I, I don't want to sit on my butt. Look at him. He just declared war again. This guy's crazy. We're six years in, and he's on his fourth war already. <laughs> Oh, what's this? No longer cynical. Okay. And, uh, oh, we can get humble or proud. I kind of prefer proud. <gasps> Did my steward die? Oh, he died at 44. Poor health. Oh, man. We lost our steward, and there's no one else who's good. There's seriously no one else who's good. Well, looks like it goes to you, unfortunately. You're pretty garbage. Yep, one less mouth to feed. We're not very... We don't really care about when our, when our people die. It doesn't matter. Train the troops. There you go. Well, we haven't had any luck fabricating claims up here. It's supposed to be 15% chance per year, but six years have gone by and we haven't heard heads or tails yet. Aha! We got it! 13 gold to get one claim. Now, did you get any allies yet? Nope, he still has no allies. And he can raise how many troops? right here. 280, whereas I can raise 317. No, 337. From vassals? I have a vassal? What? Oh, those guys. Yes, give me the claim. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. What about you? You have allies? Yes, you do. 
You have allies? Yes. God, all these motherfuckers are allies. Why you guys gotta be allies? Shit. Alright, well, let's go take out this idiot. Uh, let's take you home temporarily. Hmm, maybe improve relations. Yeah, keep me in good relations with our lord here. Our liege. Keep him happy. But yeah, I think it's time for you to go down, my friend. Do we have enough money for... Wait, how much money do you have? 76. Well, we certainly have more money than he does. Do we have enough for mercs? No, we don't. I think we'll save up for some mercs. Maybe save up 200 bucks before we go into war. But we got our claim. That's that's the good part. It only cost us 12, 12 bucks. God, these wars are so easy for him. He sieges one province and then he fights a battle and he gets 100%. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yep, war's over. Oh, I'm starting to think Olga might fancy me. Who the hell is this? Well, she's a fat sloth just like us. Yeah, make a move, man. And we're already at war again. The subjugation of Sweden. What? Oh well. I went to Olga's chamber and gave her a good tumble. Chief Vladimir of Peskov falls in love with Olga. Oh, he fell in love. That's cute. That's so cute. He's adorable. Vladimir in love. And it's time for a child to get some education. Uh, I don't really care who educates her, so let's pick someone who doesn't like us. Who hates us? You hate us. Uh, priest. Yes, let my vassal teach her. There you go. That'll make her a little happier. Oh yeah, what's uh, the opinions of our vassals anyway? Vassals. Let's see, you're Russian Slavic. Perfect. And you... Hold on. You are Russian Slavic. Okay, as long as they're Russian Slavic, then I'm fine with that. We'll just keep flattering them and give them stuff to do. Yeah, he doesn't like that we have a female heir. I don't like it either, but I haven't had a choice. My wife popped out two girls, you know? Shit. Yeah, base. why haven't you gone to the dentist? So this guy... Oh, we got our wife Prager's again. So this guy in our stream, Base Derp, that's his name, Base Derp. He, uh, about four hours ago, he said that he broke his tooth. And he was complaining about it. He's like, oh, I can't believe I just broke a tooth. Blah, blah, blah. And here he is. He's still in the stream four hours later. And Joseph Stalin Jr. has just asked him, why haven't you gone to the dentist yet? Your tooth is broken. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And we got uh, our leash to like us a little more. Good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Keep up the relations, baby. <gasps> now we're ill again. Oh my god, this is the third time we've been ill. Wow. <gasps> a son! We have a son! Vladislav. Oh, it's an illegitimate kid. No, 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 no. Not Vladislav. Vladimir. Okay. And we had a son. We fulfilled our ambitions. So, let's see. Become king of Rus. Ah, but it's only for that kingdom. Gotcha. So that's not what I want. I'll just leave our ambitions open for now. Okay, good. Legitimize him. Acknowledge him as mine. I think we'll just acknowledge him as mine. We don't need to legitimize him. That's going to piss off our wife a bit. Yeah, acknowledge the bastard. Negative 40. But tough shit. You're still my wife. Pop out more babies. Give me a genius or something. <gasps> a son! A dwarf! Oh, he's a twin. He's a twin. And another guy. Well, the dwarf, obviously. Cosma. Yeah, he's going to rename Vladimir. We need Vladimir. He's a dwarf, baby. Vladimir. Done. It's too bad he's not a genius. Oleg. I think we'll call him not Vladimir. Because he's he's too tall. All right, so we have not Vladimir, the giant, and Vladimir, the dwarf, who is our heir.
Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're not ill anymore. Good. And that war for Sweden is already over. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> it's going by so fast on full speed, I don't even know what happened. So how's your uh, treasury look, my friend? 86. As long as he doesn't have enough money for mercs, I'll be happy. Ah, we gained Scholar. Good for us. I mean, it's not the best trait to have, but it's better than nothing. What the shit? Another war. Uh, the fifth subjugation of Rus war. Oh my god, this guy's just going ballistic. He wants that kingdom. He wants the kingdom of Rus. He's going balls deep. Two hundred and ninety versus three hundred and sixty something. Yeah, I think we can beat him up. But we couldn't afford mercs for very long. How large is his fort? Two hundred and ninety two and four hundred and five. So we need the mercs to stay alive so they can siege. So, well, not stay alive. We need the mercs to continue to be paid, which costs quite a bit. So we need that to siege. So we need to have more money. Sieging money. And wow, that war is over already. Holy shit. Oh, Kiev has formed. Hello, Kiev. What's up, Kiev? Some chick arrived at our court. Well, looks like you get to be a concubine. Yeah. Welcome to the concubines. And some idiot arrived. He doesn't have any claims on anything, so... Oh, I can make him my steward, though. There you go. Collect taxes, you son of a bitch. Uh-oh. The peasants told the whole castle about a dragon they saw in the forest, and how eager the young men kept nagging about a true dragon hunt. Well, maybe they saw Putin. Our family crest is a dragon. Maybe they saw us. You know, I don't know. Uh, some gold might shut them up. Fearsome dragon, thou doth not scare me. Yes. Nice. Very brave, Mr. Putin. Very brave indeed. Oh, we're out fighting battles, apparently. Nope. We changed our look, though. We have a helmet now. Another? Holy shit, it's the sixth... It's the sixth subjugation of Rus. The sixth time he has declared war to expand his kingdom. Holy shit, this guy's aggressive. Oh shit, we're the, we have great pox. No! No, we have the great pox. Don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. Oh god, health minus two. Oh god. I think we might have to declare war. I don't know if I can wait any longer. We don't have enough money. But uh, if, if we die... I mean, if we die, it's all over, right? So, yep, war. Let me get my mercs first. And just siege away. Hopefully we can afford the siege, because we need to. We need to get that, that number down low enough to where our dudes can uh, continue it without the mercs. But it looks like it'll be okay. It's going down pretty quick. Yeah, we'll be fine. He only has one uh, holding, so that should be quick and easy. We're done. All right, 100%. Take that, you son of a bitch. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, dismiss everything. Fantastic. We have gained Ingria. 
And it's a barren wasteland. There is nothing there. And it's a pretty shitty province. But we took it, damn it. <laughs> and it upped our maximum domain uh, uh, levy to 746, which means we might be able to go after this guy pretty soon. How many troops you got, boy? 695. Yeah. But he does have money, so we'll keep an eye on that. If we can raise all 700, we might just go down in there anyway. I don't know. We'll see. God, look at that. The war's over already. Look at him go. And look at Kiev go. Wow, they're both doing great. What's going on in the rest of the world? Shit. Holy Roman Empire has formed. That didn't take long. Wow. But West Francia is not in it. You guys are still Carlings? Yeah, you're still Carlings. Yep, they're both Carlings. What about Aquitaine? Carling? Yeah, so they're all still Carlings. Oh, the Byzantines are breaking apart. Yeah, and he's not even at war. Oh, poor Byzantines. India doesn't look very different. This area doesn't look that different either. Not much going on in England. Except Yiland. Look at Yiland. Yiland. <laughs> Yiland owns all of Mercia. Wow. Look at Yiland go. Asturias is holding out, just barely. Alright, but yeah, that's going to have to do it for this first episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Vladimir Putin reigns in Peskov. He's just conquered Ingria. It's the first of many conquests for the Putins. We'll see what happens next time. Have a good day.